Fast, accurate, and every day. First Defense Weather. Well, a happy Friday to you. And, uh, you know, this is something we talked about yesterday, and it's good to kind of mention it because, you know, we added another above average day to the calendar yesterday. The high was in the 70s yesterday. That, of course, is over 10 degrees above normal. So our average temperature for the month right now, 62 degrees. The departure from normal is 9 degrees above average and of course as we run uh, this October is the warmest October ever dating all the way back to 1895 but of course that's not official that doesn't come until later on this afternoon and uh, or later on this month I should say but later on this afternoon we do have a chance for some strong and severe thunderstorms across the region and uh, this is the impacts for you it's mainly going to be a damaging wind and uh, hail threat but notice how the tornado threat is up here in that low category Stress, it is low, doesn't mean it's zero, but it is a low threat and it's something you shouldn't really shrug off. There could be a couple stronger storms later on this afternoon. So here's the timing for you. It's mainly three o'clock to six o'clock this afternoon. That's really gonna be the the uh, the strongest activity. Now there's gonna be a third round of storms that's gonna come overnight as a strong cold front approaches, but those should be strong, but not as severe. Of course, we'll watch those as well, but this is the main threat though. Uh, timing, uh, the uh, damaging winds and hail main threat. Again, stress on the word low tornado threat, but we'll watch it through the afternoon. The greatest impact is going to be across the southern tier. In fact, here's the current, uh, the uh, the uh, severe weather outlook uh, from the Storm Prediction Center. They have placed us under a standard slight risk. That's all the yellow shade, a standard two out of five for uh, severe thunderstorms later on this afternoon. So let's show it to you on the newest run of future scan on the computer modeling. Shows you just a few scattered showers through the afternoon. Now, here's where the severe potential lies. Is This is normally about two, three o'clock this afternoon. Any one of these could be strong to severe with damaging winds and there is a chance some of them could rotate. So we'll have to watch that through the afternoon hours. Here comes a strong cold front overnight. This is the third round and again notice another uh, line of showers and thunderstorms developing overnight. Those could be strong with some gusty winds. Of course we'll stay up all night and watch those whether people never sleep so that's fine with us. And then by the time we go to tomorrow the cold air rushes across a relatively warm water of Lake Erie and creates lake effect rain showers for tomorrow and continuing through the day on Sunday. So yeah, get ready for lake effect season, but at least it's rain. Now here's storm potential. This is a product that we have in future scan that tries to show you where the best chance of thunderstorm development uh, will be. And we're really looking for the yellows and the reds. And you'll see here through the afternoon here, notice we start to get into some red shaded areas here that starts to indicate the better chance of atmospheric instability. So there could be more than enough fuel in the atmosphere to allow these uh, thunderstorms to turn strong to severe. So of course, make sure you have a good way of, of uh, getting warnings. And of course, should there be any tornado warnings, we will go on the air with long form coverage should there need be. 70 to 75 through the afternoon, overcast with scattered showers, strong to severe thunderstorms late with a southwest wind, 56 to 62 tonight, severe storms early with a soaking rain overnight. Take a look at the high temperature tomorrow, big cool down with the cold front, lake effect rain showers both Saturday and Sunday, down to 53 on Sunday. That's real October air going back down to the 50s, but the sun will return on both Tuesday and Wednesday and next week, and we bring in another chance for a few more scattered showers next Thursday, and temperatures return back into the 60s.